let us consider a two-tank system uh, and let us write the state space representation of the two-tank system. So I will write here two-tank system and we are going to obtain state space representation. In other words, the physical system uh, of two tanks uh, which are uh, interconnected, we are going to represent in the, the form of uh, ordinary differential equations. In other words, we will obtain state space space representation of this system and we will obtain the A, B, C and D matrices which describe uh, a, a model of two tank system. So a physical system uh, admits the following uh, picture. Uh, there is a inlet flow F1 which is function of time and this inlet flow fills in the tank 1 at the bottom of the tank there is a pipe that goes into the valve and essentially represents the flow F2 that is going out of the tank 1. This F2 flow fills in the tank 2 and there is again the flow that goes through the valve after the tank 2 and this is the flow F3. So here is a tank 2 and here is a tank 1. In other words, we have a feeling of the tank 1 uh, and from the tank 1 there is a flow F2 that is emerging and F2 fills in the tank 2 such that we can write the mass balances as a physical model of these two tank system are essentially mass balances or material balances and <coughs> we know that if we consider the density is a constant of this liquid uh, in the flows F1, F2 and F3 that uh, volume of any of these tanks is going to be uh, described as uh, surface of the tank multiplies the height of the tank uh, liquid level and again this is an assumption that there is a, a constant density uh, of the fluid flow Therefore, if we uh, write the basic mass balance for the first tank, we will have that differential change in time of volume of liquid in a tank 1 is going to be the difference between flow F1 of T minus F2 of T. In other words, we have an input minus output uh, a, a relationship. In the same way, D of DT for the tank 2 is A2 H2 and again F2 of T is inflow and minus F of 3 is outflow. Now we see that we wrote the first differential equation that describes the mass balance uh, or it describes the, the evolution of the tank liquid height 
uh, in the first tank and is uh, related to these F1 and F2 flows, which are obviously functions of time. Uh, here uh, I want now to introduce that there is a well-known relationship that F1, the flow, in this case flow F2 in the tank, is going to be directly uh, uh, related to the height of the uh, liquid in the tank 1 and divided by K1 and K1 is linear characteristic is a constant is a characteristic of the valve or it is a characteristic of this flow stream. In the same way F2 and F3 are given here one as a function of H1 K1 and another one as a function of the H2 the tank of the liquid in the tank divided by K2. Once we have uh, these two expressions which relate to the flow F2 and H1, F3 and H2, we can substitute these in these mass balances. And since A1 and A2 are constant, Obviously, the surface area of the tank does not change during the time. We can simplify these expressions and we can obtain the following state space, or in more compact way, a written representation of the mathematical model of this system h1, h2 of t so the first equation is divided by a1 and we introduce f1 and f2 as a h1 divided by k1 so we have minus 1 a1, k1, 0, 1, divided by a2, k1, and here minus 1, divided by a2, K2 where H1 again and H2 are the states of our state space model. We have to be careful here with the sign of the every term in this equation here also the B matrix is 1 by A1 0 how do we know that? just checking the equations we realize that this F1 here shows up and if we just flip this A1 we divide the entire equation with the A1 this 1 by F a1 will show here, and this is the input into our system. Therefore, this matrix represents the A. That's the A. This is the A that is here A in the state space model representation. This is the B. that is the vector that is associated with the inputs of the system, we see that F1 here shows to this element 
1 by A1, and we don't have that input influences H2 system because F1 does not fill in the tank 2. Okay, so this defines A and B, and how about C and D matrix in this case? Uh, 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 C matrix in this case if, for example, we are interested in outputs to be F2 and F3, two flows are outputs in this model, so this is something that we in this case specify, the C matrix will take the following form. It will be 1 by K1, 0, 0, 1 by K2, and again the H1 of T and H2 of T. In other words, I just rewrote these two expressions in a more compact form. F2 multiplies H1 by K1 is F2. This is the expression that I just wrote, and F3. However, now we have F2 and F3 are our outputs. What about, uh, this is therefore matrix C, and what about matrix D? Matrix D in this case, it will be just 0, 0, and here F1 of T. So this is matrix D. In other words, if we are looking into compact state space representation, think about this H dot is now some written as A H plus B F1 of T and we have a outputs which are y of t is equal c h plus d f1 of t this is pretty much the compact form of state space model representation for the two tank system where states are H1 and H2 and input is a input flow into first tank and desired outputs are two flows that are going out of the first and the second tank. In other words, this is one possible state space representation we can look in some other state space representation. For example, if our desired output of interest is just F2 of T, then C matrix will look as follow: 1 by K1, 0, and then we will have again the same expression H1, H2, plus zero f one of t in other words in this case c matrix takes the following form and d matrix takes the following form uh, in different words we always must have dimensional homogeneity of this expression because this is the matrix one by two multiplies two by one therefore the output or f two of t is just a scalar function uh, in the next lectures, we will discuss more about state space system representation and how to represent this uh, with simple uh, summation, integration, and subtraction elements.